सपोज दिस इज वन डिसचार्ज लाइन अफ सेंट्रिफ्यूगल कम्प्रेसर फ्रम कम्प्रेसर डिसचार्ज टू आफ्टर कुलर से लाइन सैज इज टोटी फोर इंच एंड डिजाइन प्रेसर इज से डिजाइन प्रेसर इज टेन बार गेज एंड डिजाइन टेम्पारेचार इज से वन फर्टी डिग्री सेलसियस हेन दिस कम्प्रेसर उल रान डि टू द टेम्पारेचार अफ वन फर्टी डिग्री सेलसियस दिस लाइन उल एक्सपांड एंड दिस लाइन इज अलमोस्ट स्ट्रेट कमिंग डाउन फर्टी फाइव डिग्री ड्यू टू दिस थार्माल एक्सपानसन ह्यूज स्ट्रेस एंड ह्यूज लोड थार्माल लोड उल बी देयर ऑन कम्प्रेसर डिसचार्ज एज वेल एज ऑन आफ्टर कुलर नोजल नाउ हाउ उइ कैन रिड्यूस दिस थार्माल लोड और थार्माल स्ट्रेस ऑन दिस पाइप लाइन नाउ टू एबजर्व द थार्माल एक्सपानसन अफ दिस लाइन एंड टू रिड्यूस द थार्माल स्ट्रेस एंड लोड ऑन दिस नोजल्स उइ कैन प्रोभाइड वन एक्सियल बेलो और अनटाइड बेलो लाइक दिस सो दैट हेन द लाइन उल एक्सपांड थार्माली देन द बेलो कन्वल्यूशन्स उल बी कम्प्रेसड बाट द प्रब्लेम इज दैट डिव टू टेन बार अफ इंटरनल प्रेसार एंड सिन्स द बेलो इज अनटाइड बेलो देयर उल बी प्रेसार थ्रास्ट ऑन दिस डिशन एंड ऑन दिस डिशन दैट प्रेसार थ्रास्ट उल बी इक्ल्स टू इंटरनल प्रेसार इंटू क्रस सेक्शनल एरिया अब द पाइपलैन और अब द बेलो सो प्रेसार थ्रास्ट एक्सियल प्रेसार थ्रास्ट उल बी एक्सियल प्रेसार थ्रास्ट उल बी प्रेसार दैट मीस इंटरनल प्रेसार इंटू क्रस सेक्शनल एरिया दैट मीस टेन के जि पर सेंटीमिटार स्कोर इंटू पाई इंटू सिक्सटी दैट इज सिक्सटी सेंटीमिटार आईडी अफ द पाइपलैन सिन्स डायमिटार इज सिक्स हंड्रेड एन वि डिवाइडेड बोर दिस इज इक्वल्स टू टोटी थाउजेंड टू सिक्सटी के जि दैट मीस एप्रक्सिमेटलि टोटी एट पॉइंट this type of untied bellow then in this direction this 28 ton load will act and in this direction 28 ton load will act so you can imagine how much load will be transferred to compressor discharge nozzle and to the after cooler and due to this load any damage may happen to this after cooler nozzle or to compressor nozzle so we cannot use this type of untied bellow on the pipeline to absorb the thermal movement or thermal expansion of the line now if we use tried lateral bellow that means say this is the tie rod and this is the tie rod nut then what will happen this bellow will not be able to expand axially or contract axially due to the 
tie rod so if we use tied velo then this much of axial pressure thrust will be absorbed by the tie rods so this pressure thrust will not be transmitted towards the after cooler as well as towards the compressor discharge nozzle but due to the tie rod this tied bellow is actually axially rigid we can imagine that this is a rigid pipe that means in axial direction there is no contribution of this bellow so we do not gain anything by using this type of tied lateral bellow where we have to absorb axial movement of the pipeline this tied lateral bellow will help us in absorbing lateral movement of the bellow since this type of tied lateral bellow also doesn't work then concept of pressure balance bellow has come pressure balance bellow means another set of bellow is there in this side like this and that bellow is connected with a small pipeline with hole on the elbow like this say this bellow on this side is like this and this bellow and this bellow is having same diameter say this is the bellow on this side like this and in this configuration the pressure balance bellow or elbow bellow is from this point up to this point including this flange up to this so this entire set is called pressure balance bellow it contains two sets of bellow this is one set and this is another set of same diameter these are the bellow convolution of this side set and both the assembly is connected with the common tie rod like this this side also this entire assembly is called pressure balance bellow or elbow bellow or called constant volume bellow in case of thermal expansion of this line this bellow will be pressed or will be squeezed axially and at that time this bellow will be expanded but overall length of the bellow will remain same that's why this bellow is called constant volume bellow and when this line will be contracted then this bellow will be expanded by the contraction amount and this side bellow will be contracted by the same amount since cross sectional area of this side bellow and this side bellow is same and since this is connected with a small pipeline like this so this side pressure and this side pressure is same in this condition this 28 ton of axial pressure thrust will act against this bellow on this side and this side and for this bellow also this 28 ton will act on this side and will act 
on this side also. So this 28 ton, this 28 ton, this 28 ton and this 28 ton, all these four axial forces will nullify each other and there will not be any axial pressure thrust and due to the temperature, thermal load or thermal stress will not be transmitted towards compressor nozzle as well as towards after cooler nozzle because thermal expansion or contraction of this portion of the pipeline will be managed with this bellow and with this bellow. Since expansion of this side is same as contraction of this side or expansion of this side is same as contraction of this side, so volume of this portion remains constant. That's why this type of pressure balance bellow is also called constant volume bellow. And this type of pressure balance bellow or elbow bellow requires a change in direction. Here it is 45 degree and in some case this elbow may be 90 degree like this but the bellow will be like this only. Now you can see the pressure balance bellow at upstream of the elbow of a compressor discharge line. This is compressor discharge silencer which is not yet connected with the compressor discharge. This is inside the shed and outside the shed this is another set of the bellow for pressure balancing and this is the after cooler.